Ghost from Call of Duty has one of the most iconic looks in all of gaming. And today, we're gonna make his look in real life in a wearable mask. And since the skull mask doesn't really exist easily, we are going to 3D print it. So I found this great file on Thingiverse that you can find the link in the description if you wanna print it yourself and loaded it up in my brand new Bamboo Lab printer. This thing is awesome. It created this time lapse for me. I freaking love it. And so I sat there, worked on some projects, scrolled some TikToks, and then it was done. I pulled out the printer, removed the supports, and it was in pretty good shape. All right. so prep work this thing turned out really really clean except for just a couple of little spots here you can see just where some supports pulled off uh and it's not the greatest in those spots but other than that the finish is really 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 nice the bamboo lab printer really does a great job i started off like i always do with the bondo there was just a couple of spots here mostly around the eyes a couple places on the teeth and some on the top of the head once that was dry then of course we hit it with some sanding and then as always we hit it with some filler primer and then sand again and then for this one i did a white base coat after that's all dry it's time to get to the real bulk of the painting and once we're in our setup here i start things off with a undercoat of very very light gray and the reason that i do this right over the base coat of white is just straight up white isn't great to paint on top of at least in my opinion i like having something just a little bit off and sometimes spray paint doesn't really give a great like adhesion for a lot of the colors that we're going to be doing on top of it for acrylic paints and so i like to do another base coat it is an extra step but for me it's worth it after that base coat of gray is dry then i put together a brown wash we got our little bottle we got our brown ink we got our matte medium and our flow additive. So we're gonna we're gonna fill this little thing like halfway up with uh, with the water. Then we're gonna throw um, the matte medium on here, and we're gonna do about half with that, maybe a touch more. Then we have the flow aid. All right, just a little bit of flow aid in there, and then we go in with the burnt sienna. We'll do like a dropper and a half to start. See how that goes. I'm actually gonna throw a little bit of black in here too, just to kind of darken it up. So we got our black wash and then we got a little bit of a brown wash. We're gonna just drip that on, get it all nice. And then we got the sponge brush and we're just gonna just spread this around. All right, we're gonna do a couple of layers of this cause I don't want it to go crazy, but we're just gonna dab it off. And then what's remaining will be a nice little effect. So you guys can kind of see uh, this is kind of building up a little bit, huh? Once that brown wash is dry and set, then I start going in with the dry brushing and the bulk of the weathering. And we start with some different brown. And I really kind of went to town with this because I wanted to have fun with it. So after we're done with the browns, then I decide let's add some grays as well. Since we have a light gray base coat and white below that, gray is really going to help out just kind of add back some of those shadows and stuff like that. And it just gives it a little bit more interest than just simply putting brown or dirt on there. And then after that, I took it one step further and even added some black. I was very careful of not going too heavy handed with the black because the black can get really out of hand pretty easily. And as I was doing this, I did take some inspiration from several different iterations of this mask including a new one that is the zombie one. So we kind of zombified this a little bit. I mainly just made it like really, really dirty, but I love the way it was starting to look. All right, now we're gonna go in with some straight up white, not a ton of this, because I don't generally love just straight up white, but it's got its uses. All right, we're gonna go in with just a little bit more of the highlight in some places here. You're gonna load up the brush again. We're just gonna, we're just trying to hit all these little raised areas here. With all of that done, it was time to start putting in some of the like IRL details, I'll call it. And that is using string. I didn't want to paint on the string. I wanted to actually put real string in there. And the holes were just a little bit too small for the string that I had bought. 
So I took a little circular file and just put it through the holes and just sanded them a little bit. And that was just enough that it needed to just get the, get the strings in there easily. And in this process, I forgot what I was doing and decided to do a black wash. So that's what we did. Black wash looked awesome, as it always does. It really set this piece off, and I love it. But after we were done with the black wash, then we went back in and we started doing all of the strings. And the strings look freaking awesome. So awesome, in fact, that as I was streaming, I forgot I was on the wrong screen so i did not get a lot of the footage but what we did is i would just thread through one corner glue that down and then go as far as i can trying to glue in some spots just to keep things solid and tight then i remembered one very important aspect of this mask that i completely forgot about and that is ghost's signature white stripes so we painted that just straight on top and it was very very bright so i went in and added some browns and some grays and just a little bit of wash and stuff like that just to tone it down and i think we got to a point where it looked perfect i might paint a little bit on some of the uh actually let's do it let's go in i think gray would be the a good color so we're just gonna nice wet brush and just kind of dirty up these uh these threads a little bit and with all that done then it was time to start gluing the mask to the ski mask the main part of the skull mask was all done here and now we needed to connect the two pieces and i didn't want to just like throw some elastic on there and just put it on over it i wanted to attach these things so that they were together and the way that i just decided to do it was basically put it on my face <laughs> and mark some areas that i thought would be good to glue and i started at the nose so i started at the nose i glued it down uh and then basically worked my way outward and this was kind of a nerve-wracking process because I felt like I only had one shot at this. I only had one ski mask. They were cheap from Amazon, but that is what we had to work with. And uh, in the end, it did work out and I loved it. Now it's time to paint on all of the different areas. And it was a little bit tough because I'm using a paint that kind of runs through. So I need to put something inside of the mask and the ski mask. And so I found just this old vinyl toy that I had. It's a pretty cool one, but that was kind of the best thing I had without having like a mannequin head or something. That would make this super easy. But I just need something to basically keep the shape and not have the two sides touching. Then we went to work. I painted the lines on the top. Had to do a couple of coats to really make it kind of look okay. But it does look nice. It looks kind of weathered being not like super, super hard acrylic. And then we did the same thing on the bottom. One of them really kind of bled out. So um, I used some black paint and just covered that up. And uh, I think it looked pretty good. With that done, I needed one last thing. And that was to get some makeup. And so I went into my wife's makeup drawer, pulled out some black eye makeup, and just smeared it across my eyes. And then we were left with this. I absolutely love the way that this turned out and i couldn't be more happy with it i hope you guys enjoyed it be sure to subscribe to the channel like this video if you enjoyed it and we will see you guys in the next one it looked just like the rendering <laughs>